angry hound. I was here first, wolf. Irritable so the the soda is talking. Okay. Yeah, right. Ever heard of get in line? Oh, <laughs> I'm here with Silver Wolf. I forgot. And I was here first, wolf. Shut your trap. I'm taller, so I got here first. Yeah, right. Got it. You're about to get trampled, tweet. Move your paw aside, stupid dog. I've always wondered how these origami birds fit into such tiny places. You and Silver Wolf are so immersed in watching the drama that neither of you notices the rising pressure in the Soul Glad bottle. What's, what's that gonna do? Oh! Oh, it shattered! Firefly? I wasn't expecting her in this event! Dude, I, I ran around the map looking for like Easter eggs to see those extra scenes, and they stuck her inside the event? That's kind of nice. That was close, Dozer. Are you okay? That was close. Thank you. You can catch bullets with your bare hands. What are you doing here? I'm just glad she's here. I'm gonna thank her. That was close. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm just glad you're okay. Oh, she smiled. Yeah. We are so in. I didn't expect to see you here. I thought you'd had enough of the golden hour by now. Wow, she's really tall. I mean, compared to Silver Wolf, or rather, Silver Wolf. Silver Wolf is very short. <laughs> She's tiny. Mm-hmm. I was actually planning to go to the moment of Oasis after wandering a little longer. I wasn't expecting to bump into the two of you, and both at the same time too. This is actually a really interesting interaction having Trailblazer, Silver Wolf, and Firefly together. Two stellar one hunters. Fate brought us together. Silver Wolf said she think she, she was thinking of me all the time. I did tease her earlier about that. Are we still talking about that? Don't forget, I can access your account. Yeah, girl. She says that, but let's be real. I know that Silver Wolf is fond of me. That said, I'm surprised you stuck around in a place this crowded. I like the attention. The more the merrier, as they say. Besides, seeing everyone so tripper kind of lifts my spirits too. She just wants us to game together. And since we've run into each other, Dozer, would you like to take another photo together? We get another photo? It better be an actual photo. This place makes for a memory worth remembering. Besides, it'll be hard for us to hang out together like this again once we leave the dreamscape. I mean, in the earlier scenes, they made it seem like we're going to have such a bittersweet party as we leave Penacone. But like, I don't know, us meeting here casually, it's kind of nice. We had that whole cinematic where we were flying through the air and then we hard cut to the Astral Express ready to leave. So this is nice. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Aww. She, she just thought about it right now. Chill out, you've got, you still got plenty of time before your holiday's over. No need to take that photo right away. That said, we've run into each other. Why don't you join us for some games? Ah. Yeah, that's one way to hang out. Games? Remember those arcade machines you saw on the soaring clock hand? Family plans to develop a new game based on them. Oh no, I'm about to spank her in that game right now. <laughs> She's probably gonna be all sweet and nice about it. Those and I are testing the game for them now. So if you don't have anything on at the moment, why don't you join us? Uh, I'm still wanted by the Bloodhell family though. What's the family gonna do? She's a freaking soldier. None of these little thugs are gonna be able to take her on. It's my duty to protect beautiful maidens. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate the gesture. Still, is it me or have I heard that line somewhere else before? Maybe. No need to go through that trouble. A signal jammer plug-in will do the trick. That was always an option, Silver Wolf. Why don't you just have that be on all the time? That way Firefly doesn't have to even work. Count me in then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Gaming isn't my forte. Oh please, controlling Sam's way harder. You have nothing to worry about. Come on, Dozer. Let's go get that arcade machine. We'll create an account for her after that. A little birdie in front of you picks up an arcade machine larger than you with ease and flies away. Oh, this NPC sure has a mouth. Okay, so 
disrupt plugin. <laughs> and done. Let's go back. Return to the Soaring Clock Hand. How's it going? Gotten the hang of it yet? If you're ready, you can try a practice match. Oh no, <laughs> this stupid thing is in our cutscene. Leave me alone, I'm with Firefly. Um, Dozer, if it's alright with you, could you play the game with me just a bit? Of course. I was gonna say my love. <laughs> RK machine, it's tweeting time. I'm gonna see my training, let's wait and see. <laughs> Dang, that was a full clear. Look at that. Sorry, Firefly. Gotta do better than that. Oh, she goes by Samuel. <laughs> How'd I do? Not bad. Look how... I was all toxic with Silverwolf, but I'm so nice to Firefly. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. Like, everything that, that they show of Firefly is just... I'm, I'm, I'm smitten. Uh. Uh. Goodbye. Oh, broken heart. That was that was an expected result. Oh, Firefly. I received bur Firefly. <laughs> really? I knew this would happen, but oh well. I'll practice some more. When I'm done, Dozer, will you play another round with me? Yes, I'll play all the rounds with you, Firefly, if it means elongating our time together. Of course, we can play as many rounds as you like. I'll think about it. We can play as many rounds as you like. Thank you. Um, you can go ahead and play without me. I probably need a bit more time to get the knack of this game. I can't believe it. Are you getting hooked on the game? Hey, Dozer, fess up. Do you have a special anti-Firefly noble phantasm or something? Translation, uh, do you have an idea how many times I tried to convince her to play the game with me? Strategy, action, casual, simulation. I suggested everything under the sun, but she never shows any interest. Who would have thought this day would ever come? Tisk tisk. I tried all those games that Silverwolf mentioned, actually, but in all honesty, compared to Sam's operating system, those games are a little... bland? Damn! Does she have to make me a pro gamer? And she's just untapped potential. Tisk, wish I were you. Anyway, Dozer, feel free to go on ahead. I'll stay behind to teach Firefly a few tips and tricks first. The mechanics in the later stages are pretty much all the same anyway. So I'm not too keen on playing anymore. Check that out, Firefly. Hmm, what's that? I'm gonna put this thing up here. Firefly. Place a Firefly on the arcade machine. Oh, this is... Is it my imagination? Or does this origami bird look a little like me? Yeah! I made it for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is your exclusive little bird. It was made in your likeness. Look, mine's over there. It's so cute. Thank you, Dozer. Silver Wolf. I love it. Tsk, tsk. Not bad. Could you have been a pro in romance games? Uh, <laughs> I, I played my fair share. What can I say? I'm a pro at winning people over. Feeling confident, aren't we? <laughs> then let's pick a new game later and see who clears all the endings first. Romance games? What kind of games are those? Can you show me how to play? <laughs> oh, I'll show you. We're playing one right now. <laughs> get, let's get back to business. Feel free to go on ahead without us, Dozer. I'm staying with Firefly to continue her special training. I want to be a part of it. Okay, where am I? <laughs> Isn't this Sunday's dreamscape thingy? Technically, I shouldn't be able to access this anymore. Oh, man. We get to play with Robin! <laughs> I wasn't expecting this, but why here? Why are we in Sunday's little crazy world? Dozer, I didn't think I would be able to meet you here. Are you here to test the game about Origami Birds 2? They even invited you? You like playing video games too? Not really. Games aren't my strong suit to be honest, but I felt like I needed to change the pace lately, so I decided to pop by. What? If you need to change the pace, you could pop by my airship any day, Robin. 
If I recall correctly, Dozer, you're quite the expert at games, right? After all, I've never seen you without your phone in your hands. Do <laughs> you mind if I join you? Okay, wait, that makes me sound like I'm like obsessed. <laughs> like rather than talk to Robin, I'm on my phone. <laughs> if Robin can see me, that means she's around. That means she has my full attention. How do they say it again? Oh, I remember now. Carry me, please. <laughs> Did I get it right? Oh no. She's like a normie noob. Have to go around yanking it. When it comes to the origami birds, no, 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 no. Urban Legends for around Pentagon. These cartoon characters are actually real, but can only be seen by people whom they approve of. Ta Therefore, when these birds appeared before my eyes, an intense feeling of marvel welled up inside me. Aww. All right, Dozer. Can you wait a wh while for me later? Before I return to the ship, I may need to disguise myself. For more, more Robin scenes? Hey Tweet, you got me Tweet. This is fun. A little birdie in front of you picks up an arcade machine larger than you with ease and flies away. Oh, so similar. The bird carrying an arcade machine? What is? Back when I was on a cosmic tour, a friend once gave me a children's book. The protagonist of the story was a hero without a name. Tasked with the duty of vanquishing the demon lord and rescuing the princess, the hero walked every walked every corner of the land going on adventure after adventure. During the journey, he occasionally encounters mischievous, mischievous little sprites. They enjoy playing hide and seek, and when found, they emit strange laughter, just like the little bird from earlier. Although it's a tale for children, the story is incredibly exciting and engaging. During his journey, the hero encountered so many fantastic creatures and witnessed so many unique and breathtaking places. He rode across fields, scaled snowy peaks, and crossed deserts, even reaching as far as the fiery core of a planet. Did he rescue the princess in the end? Hmm, I think so? Strange. I've read that book so many times, but I can't seem to recall how it ends. At any rate, that feeling of immersion, like I'm still adventuring with the hero, is still fresh in my mind even now. It's like listening to a classic song, even if the lyrics and melody have become fuzzy, does it change how the emotions, nuances, and feelings of longing expressed in the song have engraved themselves on the listener's heart? Ah, sorry for the delay, should we head back now? Just give me two more minutes to freshen up. Return to the... Let's fast show. Oh, it's a kid. This, you changed so much that even your species is different now? Of course. In dreams, people should be able to do as they please. Oh, by the way, Dozer, I'm actually not very good at these games. Can you teach me? Oh, she's disguised! Weird. Arcade time. Seems a bit difficult. It's okay. It's hard for me too. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Dedge. Congratulations, you were great. <laughs> I like how her name is Robin, but they still have to put bird in it. Robert. <laughs> why does she have to be disguised, though? That's interesting. And why was she just chilling inside some random dream world when I found her? Alone. Isn't that kind of dangerous? She's still a celebrity. And an important member of the family. Finally back, Dozer. Hurry up and play a match with me. This time around, I will avenge my precious loss. March, can we get more? We get enough scenes with March. Can we get more with Firefly, please? Huh? There are other people here as well. Who are you, miss? It's me, Miss March. It's good to see you again. <laughs> March is going to be so confused. This voice sounds like... <laughs> This is why dreams are such wonderful things. It's so convenient to disguise myself from my appearance to my voice. Wait, she's basically like Sparkle. So Sparkle's ability isn't even that special? That means that we could do that. It's so convenient that I couldn't even recognize you at all. <laughs> so are you also here to test out the game, Miss Robin? I think it's a really fun one. Yeah, I just played a match with Dozer and it was indeed quite interesting. Damn, dude. Like, we're like besties, me and Robin. What? 
I can't believe you didn't tell me about this, Dozer. I want to play uh, the game with Miss Robin too, so... But one in the end. I was just lucky. I'll be nice. You're just pretending to be humble. Later, let's have a one-on-one -on -one battle. Oh, right. Dozer, you should place Miss Robin's origami bird first so that I can take a look at it. Don't steal it, March. I'm watching you. Okay, so here's that lady. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's me again. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Dozer. Did you manage to collect four arcade machines first? Allow me to give you the souvenir for this test. A limited edition deluxe version of the Origami Bird arcade machine. Okay, it looks like it looks the same. Well then, as we come to the end of the test, allow me to introduce a guest to all of you. It's Sunday. What? Even, oh yeah, that's right. This game is a collaboration, so to speak. There are quite a number of familiar faces here today. I didn't expect to meet all of you again so soon. Neither did I, Jade. Uh, uh, hello, Madam Jade. What a coincidence. Hello, Madam Jade. I was only intending to do Topaz a favor and check on the progress of this project. I certainly didn't expect to be surprised as well. Wait. Have we interacted with Jade at all? Um... Since there's such a lively crowd, let's give them something to cheer about. Miss, would you play a match on my behalf? Huh? Uh, of course, Madam Jade. You can start any time you're ready, esteemed guest. It's our challenge. Are you satisfied with our game? It's playable for a demo. <laughs> it still shows Jade, even though she's not playing. Oh. It's DLC time. For free? Clink. <laughs> Wait, that was the first time I lost. Alright. Adam Jade is elegant. Daughter, she needs to hear you. Right, I'm spanking her. That could have been a one-shot, <laughs> if that was how it was before. I win! You were incredible, just as expected. How impressive. No wonder you were able to come in first during the test, Mr. Dozer. In that case, my heartiest congratulations for this beautifully elegant and quietly dignified bird now belongs to you. Are you not going to place it right now? Tina looks on. It went too fast. Perfect, utterly perfect. All right, seeing as the test is coming to an end, shall we take a group photo to commemorate this moment? Photo? Sure thing, count me in. Bra <clears throat> Are you joining in? Fine by me. <laughs> I'm screenshotting this. That's so funny. Huh? I can be in the photo too? Yeah! Come on, girl. Go on, didn't you want to take a photo with Dozer earlier? We can take plenty of selfies afterwards later. Okay then. Um, how about you, Madam Jade? That won't be necessary. After all, the social dynamics of this place are quite complicated. It would be rather unfortunate if the photo is seen by others. Oh, I see. In that case, apart from Madam Jade, would everyone come over to this site? <gasps> Look! Look at them! If only Robin could be in her regular form. I want to take my own photo. I had to. Ah. Perfect. I hereby announce that the Origami Bird Clash white box testing has officially come to an end. Ah, huh. told you. I was it it was totally a white box test. Everyone, thank you so much for participating. We'll use the data gathered from the test and feedback provided by you to improve the game even further. Please look forward to the final release. In addition, the, the used prototypes will be kept in the halls as souvenirs, so you'll still be able to access them even after the end of this test. Dude, my airship has free arcades? That's sick. What? We can continue to play the game? Yay! Indeed. 
Not only that, the battle data of all players who participate in this test have been recorded in these arcade machines, allowing them to generate even more difficult stages for all of you to challenge. Jade's talking to Robin. Yo, looks like there's even DLC over there. Madam Jade. Did she? Yeah, she probably found out about us long ago. However, it's no big deal. For it's time for us to slip away, right? Didn't you mention you wanted to visit the moment of Oasis? Just have nothing else to do right now. I'll go with you. No, don't leave! It's my ship! She can't touch you! My rules. In that case, since this is a rare opportunity, shall we visit Sun Sunshine Park? I never had a picnic with another person before. Well, if you don't count missions. Also, the parks in Dreams shouldn't have any insects, right? Does she actually have a lingering phobia of insects? It's canonical! I saw all those memes about it, but it's actually true! Alright, in that case, we're out of here, Dozer. I'll contact you again later, so remember to leave some time for me. Yes. I'll let Silverwolf contact me because I'll, cause she would likely be with Firefly. Firefly will likely be around. Bye, Dozer. Thank you for inviting me. I had a lot of fun today. Aw, that's a feels good. Well, it's also time for me to bid farewell. Have a pleasant day, everyone. Ugh, all of them left so quickly. Time flies when you're having fun, indeed. Anyway, you're not allowed to go yet, Dozer. Miss Tina just told me about a new game mode for the arcade machine, so you gotta try it out with me. Alright, if you want to rematch that badly. Unplanned group photo. Oh, Jade's just chilling here. Excuse me, I was here first. Oh, what did he have to say? I'm listening. How interesting, Miss Robin. I can still aid you if you require any help on my end. I will think about it, Madame Jade. Regardless, I appreciate your kindness very much. She's not trying to make a deal with Robin, is she? Not a big deal. Since it's still early, why don't we chat somewhere else? After all, we have time to spare, right? Of course, I happen to know a decent cafe that is spotless and overlooks some beautiful scenery. Perhaps you'll like it. You can play against friends? Wait, that's the first time this has ever happened. I'll do it later. 